just going to walk really quickly through the SSL VHD Pre and some of the functions it has. Uh, it has a couple additional features we'll go into as well. So uh, on the bottom section of the preamp module, you're going to see all the stuff that you would normally see on a microphone preamplifier. You have uh, polarity reverse or 180 degrees out of phase. Uh, it's going to just reverse the polarity of uh, the incoming signal. You have um, a pad. It's going to reduce the volume of the incoming signal. Um, so if it's too hot, you can you can add that pad and reduce the volume. Uh, it's probably I don't know. I'm guessing 15, 20 dB, or maybe even 10 dB. Uh, look at the manual, kids. <laughs> it's got 48 volts fan power. Um, so that's obviously there to power any active DIs or uh, condenser microphones. You can turn that on and off, and it has an indicator here, so you can make sure not to turn it on for an inappropriate microphone, like a non-transformer loaded ribbon microphone or, or other dynamic that might be sensitive to phantom power. Um, and then it has a high Z button um, that's going to uh, increase the tolerance for high impedance coming into the microphone preamp. So for whatever reason you want to use this preamp module, as a DI box, you can do that by plugging in a guitar, bass, or other high impedance instrument or source into the back of this uh, rack and uh, selecting the high high impedance uh, option. Um, directly above that, um, you have the uh, high pass filter um, or the low filter, and you can turn that on and off, and then it's variable. Uh, you can adjust which frequency you want that a high pass filter to be to be at. Um, as then above you're gonna find the most useful stuff that you normally use in a microphone preamp. The first is your gain, which is the red knob. How many dB of gain you want to add to that signal. And then an output trim. Now the reason you have an output trim and a gain is so that you can uh, perhaps drive the signal into the preamp a little bit more and utilize uh, what SSL calls the variable harmonic drive. Um, that's your top knob and this selector here, this button. If you have that variable harmonic drive in, you can actually select whether or not you want the preamp to add in an analog circuit to emulate um, second harmonic distortion, third harmonic distortion, or a mix of the two to your signal. Um, the more you gain it up, the more uh, harmonic distortion you're going to add or harmonic drive you're going to add and then you can therefore trim your the output of your signal back down so it's not overloading Pro Tools or the Toft audio console.